Well, as you know, this SARC initiative came from Bangladesh. That was way back in 1980s. And those days I used to be a director in my ministry. And when we had launched this initiative, we had two objectives. First objective was that we should try to discuss least controversial issues to prepare the ground which could facilitate discussion of other hardcore economic areas. So the first meeting that took place in Colombo in 1981-82, it only talked about telecommunication, malarial diseases, bridge construction, agriculture and all this. From 81 to 2016, we have been able to make significant progress there. We have been able to sign certain agreements which have long-term advantage for everybody. SARC, when we launched, there was a concern by some countries that every decision-making process should be by consensus. That's good, but uh, it also has certain limitations. And that limitation is, for example, one country could block the passage of one particular issue. Like, let's say, motor vehicle agreement. Pakistan decided that they are still not ready, so motor vehicle agreement was in a state of suspension. We said that we should follow, let's say, European Union model to some extent. Not everybody in European Union model agrees to the Schengen visa or agreed to the Euro formula. So we said, okay, we will have a regional or sub-regional grouping where we can implement the same thing. So BBIN, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal initiative is actually an offshoot of SARC itself because after all, we four members are also members of SARC. It is a SARC sub-regional group. The other advantage of SARC that I, I used to notice was it is to provide a good opportunity for our leaders to discuss the bilateral issues on the sideline of the summit meeting. And in the past we have seen that these bilateral meetings is to be very useful in the resolution of a lot of our bilateral problems. But the crux of the matter was we must keep the security situation within the tolerable limits where we could meet freely and discuss. Unfortunately, prior to the hosting of the summit in Islamabad last year, there was a series of terrorist attacks that took place. And uh, naturally, we felt, Bangladesh also felt, that holding a SARC summit under the prevailing situation may not be conducive. So our current chairman is Nepal. They are undertaking further consultations. And there are different options before them. And I hope that we will be able to hold the summit next year. And Nepal is also the chairman for hosting the next BIMSTEC meeting. So we are in close touch with Nepal. And I would let you know as soon as we are in a position but certainly regional cooperation, there is no alternative to regional cooperation. SARC has one mandate, BIMSTEC has another mandate. They are not replacing each other. We would need both this organization to closely integrate cooperation between our countries of the South Asian region. So far as Bangladesh is concerned, I can only speak for my country. There are some areas where we can make progress within our sub-region. For example, motor vehicle, we can do it. We can do the cooperation on the connectivity question. We can do the cooperation on the hydroelectric projects, water sharing, and so on and so forth. So there is no doubt of that. But where we get stuck is perhaps in the question of full implementation of SAFTA, South Asian Free Trade Association. There perhaps we live. 
we may have a problem in terms of getting outside fund for major South Asian projects. There we will get stuck. But functional cooperation, it's continuing. The bigger issues remain suspended.